Hello guys and welcome to the first season for me and episode on this channel of the VFL. Okay, so this is VFL Chesterfield. Um, that's who I'm playing for at the moment, a striker. Um, and our first game was against um, Swindon, which we won 4-0, but I don't have that on footage. So this is here instead. Uh, this was our second game against Barnet and this these are a few clips and stuff so I'm gonna go commentate through them and then uh, yeah you understand. So basically they have the ball here and then we win it back and now I'm running down the wing and as I'm running down the wing people get into the box, triple tap cross goal, easy goal for Connor. Um slots it home nicely and that's one nil in the thirty fifth minute. It's very nice with him. And now they have a corner in the forty first, posing a lot of danger. Good save from the keeper, another good save from the keeper. Um, and then we start on the counter attack, and that's the half time stats as you can see. Um, not the best, but you know, doing the best we can. Anyway, moving on, they put in a nice through ball, sweat it, and we give away a penalty in the 67th minute. It isn't the best from us, we should not have given that away. But here we go, the pen. Keeper dives the right way, just doesn't get a hand on it because as you probably know already, if you put the ball anywhere in the goal, your keeper and the ball will go anywhere. It doesn't really matter on pens. Anyway, we're, we're just playing around with the ball. Takes a nice shot, keeper saves. Oof, sit out in the 94th minute, I think it was, or is that just at time? So it's in the 90th minute somewhere. And... No need for that tackle, but Eagle takes down the player in the box and they have a pen in the 90th minute. And they miss it. Keeper did go the right way, so he did have it covered, but I, I can't believe they rushed it that much. But anyway, that is the end of game one. It was 1-1 one, one at the end. Oh, game one, game two, sorry, because there's, yeah. Um, and that was that. Now we're playing VFL Fulham. Um... And Fulham and Swindon were at the bottom of the table, okay? So he was looking at this thinking, oh, easy game. But they come in the 11th minute, striking a good sweat. Well, a good goal, good finish. Um, but yeah, and then here it was just miscommunication with the keeper and the left back. And it just made us concede. 2-0 down to Fulham, who are, I believe, currently at the bottom of the table. Um... But yeah, it just shows that any team can do anything. Like even if you're at the bottom, you can be dangerous. So never go into a game thinking that you're gonna do something special. Me going with a ruthless tackle there, I don't know what I was doing. But they are posing a big threat. Uh, by space, shifting them off the ball, starting the counter attack. Very nice counter attack as well. Nice and space. And then me being me, triple tap, cross box, nice golf. So. Are we starting the comeback is the question. Um, it was a nice triple tap um, and a nice finish from Connor. Anyway, it's a nice ball to Connor and Connor with an amazing finish. Incredible finish. Um, Keeper was not stopping that. That was just too good. Um, uh, the defenders could have done a lot more to stop that actually, to be fair. But yeah, anyway, we're doing our corner tactic. And a whip into the box in the 85th minute and by space with an incredible header. And look at that comeback. 3-2, not what we wanted. We were expecting high, high score. But, you know, we'll, we'll take a 3-2. Anyway, moving on to VFL Cambridge. Now, this is one that we needed to win because they were one behind us, I believe, at the time. So if we lost, that would be in front, and we needed to win. We needed to get this. So, as you see, Eagle just gets completely destroyed inside the box. Um, it it was just a really bad piece of defending by their defender, and uh, Connor was not going to take the penalty because him and his pens are hilarious. But Eagle puts it away nicely, and that is that, 1-0 in the 43rd minute, which was nice. It made, it made us feel comfortable, but, you know, there are the half-time stats. We were demolishing them with, the, with them stats, but, you know, stats don't really mean everything in a game. Um, 
So anyway, they start running through in the 88th minute. And, yep. What is it with us and conceding late goals? 88th minute. But this, this isn't our fault at all, well it is. But if you watch here, the animation of the defender goes on his knees to get it away when he could have just jumped and got it away. It was very stupid. But anyway, um, this will go on to be a 1-1 draw. Um, nothing we can do about that. It's just ridiculous how they managed to do that. But I suppose we got caught off guard. And this this was so poor from us. Like The defending was terrible, but um, it was recovered in the end. But still giving away a corner in the 92nd minute. But it is, I believe, wasted. And then the whistle is blown. So that is the end of that game. 1-1 one, one, draw. Now moving on to the next game against Rotherham. Now this was a game that was just crazy. Like it was just not a fun game to play. Anyway, starting off with um us um getting hit on the counter and then us hitting them I believe well, me getting the interception from the pass, starting the counter attack. Um, bad pass, but then recovered. Me playing it out wide, and two men inside the box. Someone's going to get to it. There you go, 82nd minute winner. It was, it was hard to score against these guys, but we definitely deserved the game. Definitely deserved. And now we have the end of the game. So that was it. Um, quite annoying but you know a one nil will take it and now moving on to the cup game against Swindon so they had just beat Fulham in extra time uh, extra time golden goal it was they beat Fulham golden goal Swindon Swindon versus Fulham the two worst teams in league two um, Swindon came out on top and then it was us and we were literally peppering them with shots and it was unbelievable but that was crazy, that was a crazy clearance and it, sure, the keeper was on, on fire, literally their keeper signed up now because he was on fire but then I get good goal there, the header did go in um, but you know the left footed, weak foot, good goal. Anyway you can see there the stats, we were literally peppering them and the possession was amazing in this game. We played very very well in this game but um, Finishing our chances is a problem I definitely have. Me and finishing, it's not very good. But as you see there, in the 81st minute, they score. It, I know us, literally this whole week has been conceding in the 80th plus minute. It's been unbelievable. But, you know, driven shots, Rome powered. Anyway, here we go into golden goal. Um, and you've got to feel sorry for the lads here. Um, but you can't because we should have won that. But here we go, playing it around, nice possession play. Goes out to the wing, where a whip is put in. I couldn't get to it, but their player puts in their own net for an own goal. And that is the end of week one. Thank you for watching. Um, the edits will be better next time. Uh, more saves and stuff, I just didn't have a lot of time right now. So be sure to check out next week's episode, where I cover the rest uh, whole of next week. And yeah, peace out dudes.